love the chase and the hunt And I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind cause it's everything You can mold, shape, find almost anything All it takes is some time and some clarity To find your identity, it's mind over everything Uh, yes, welcome to the Rebuttal Entertainment. Hit the like button if you're watching this video. really helps the channel grow. Subscribe to the, vid the channel. Tell a friend, tell a friend. And in this video here, we're going to finally debunk all of Keith Thurman, Duck Earl Spence Jr. early on in his career. So let's get it started. So in 2012, Floyd Mayweather was going to fight Andre Berto, and Keith Thurman was Floyd Mayweather's mandatory. So Keith Thurman was calling off Floyd Mayweather. Of course, the bigger, better, the money fight. So wouldn't you guys do the same thing? So Floyd got irritated with Keith Thurman, keep calling him out, and the new guy just came on the scene. Earl Spence Jr. was beating people, knocking people out. So Floyd Mayweather said, well, why don't you fight Earl Spence Jr.? So this is, was in May 2015 when uh, Floyd was going to fight Andre Berto. And in 2015, Earl Spence was fighting Samuel Vargas, Phil LaGreco, and Chris Van Herndon and um, Alessandro Barrera. Now, Earl Spence started calling Keith Thurman out in that time. Now, if you're Keith Thurman, the champion of the world, would you give Earl Spence any thought that he just really came into the division? Would you? Now, if you saying you would, you're lying. You're lying. So let's keep break. Let's keep going on and breaking it down. So Keith Thurman said, "I got bigger fish to fry. Earl, get a belt. That's exactly what he said. Get a belt, then maybe we can talk." Okay. Next thing you know, next thing you know, June 2016, Keith Thurman fights Showtime Sean Porter. It was a hell of a fight. Back and forth, the one-time Thurman, the you better not duck me, son Thurman, you know what I mean? Moves in the ring, got the power going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, you know, the brass, the confidence and all that. This Keith Thurman would have beat anybody in the walkway division. I don't, and I still don't say he would have beat uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr. But Floyd Mayweather, going on 40 years old, he said, no, 38, something like that. He said, oh, no, I don't want this young guy. I'm going to fight me an older guy. And Andre Berto. And Floyd fought. Andre Berto, September the 12th, <laughs> fighting Sam Vargas, Phil DeGreco, Chris Van Herney, and Alexandra Barrero. So I'm just, you know, so Keith, he fought Sean Porter in June 2016, you know, a hell of a fight. Sean Porter was one of the biggest name in box. Um, um, keep them to fight with. So they fought. Keep that. Keep them one of um a split decision. No. You know he still hasn't got a belt. And next thing you know, Earl Spence he fought. Chris Algeri and Leonard says, so Keith said, okay, well, Danny Garcia is calling me out. Let me get this young guy that smoke. Let me give that young guy that smoke. So Keith and Danny Garcia had a war of words. Next thing you know, Garcia scheduling the fight. Next thing you know, Keith and Danny scheduling the fight. 
and that fight was scheduled for March, March 2017, Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia, March the 4th, 2017, that fight was scheduled. And yet, yet, Earl Spence Jr. still hasn't gotten a belt. You know, so you guys keep saying, oh, Earl was calling them out. Earl wanted to fight him. Keith Thurman, one of the best fighters in the world at this time. Why would you give Earl Spence a time of day for what? We always say the risk isn't worth the reward. Ain't that's what we say in boxing. You know, you got this young, up-and-coming challenger, big, strong, brash, knocking people out. You know, Keith Thurman. Young, smooth, trying to get money fights, fighting the bigger names in boxing than Earl Spence Jr. And when I said that to people a long time ago, they're like, wait a minute, these guys' name wasn't Earl Sp bigger than Earl Spence Jr. So you mean to tell me Danny Garcia, Sean Porter in 2015, 16, 17, Earl Spence Jr. still don't have a belt. So you mean to tell me their name was bigger than his name was bigger than Sean Porter and Danny Garcia. I mean, and if you say that, you guys are fooling yourself. You are really fooling yourself. I mean, we're going to break this down with facts over feeling. The name of this video is Facts Over Feeling. Keith Thurman was still calling Floyd Mayweather out, and that's what Floyd Mayweather still kept saying. Well, if you fight, uh, Earl Smith Jr., maybe I'll give you a shot. And who will take Floyd's word for it? And I'm keep, I'm not taking this man word for it. I'm going to get the bigger payday, the bigger payday, Danny Garcia. And yet, Earl Spence Jr. still hasn't fought for a belt. Still hasn't fought for a belt. So people, you guys need to stop this nonsense. You know, you want this man to fight a guy who just up and coming and don't have no belt, no nothing. He just calling Keith Thurman out, but I don't see none of you guys saying um um he was using Keith Thurman's name, you know, calling him out. I don't see none of you guys doing that. Then finally, finally, in May, I think, May. 27, 2017, three months later, two months later, after Keith Thurman fought Danny Garcia. Two, three months later, after Keith Thurman fought Danny Garcia is when Earl Spence Jr. finally, when Earl Spence Jr. finally gets his um championship fight scheduled with Kel Brook. Now, let me put this back to you guys again. Because some of you guys just can't handle the truth. In 2017, May the 27th, 2017, and is when Earl Spence Jr. got his championship fight with Carol Brooks Jr. Now, why is the timeline? I'm keeping repeating the timeline. I'm keeping repeating the timeline to let you guys know. Keith Thurman has fought Sean Porter in 2016, June, Danny Garcia 2017, and March. And Earl Spence Jr. still didn't have a belt or nothing. But yet Floyd Mayweather wanted Keith Thurman to fight this dude. Why? Because Floyd did not want that young, talented smoke. And that's what it boils down to. So now, May 2017. The 27th, Earl Spence Jr. fight Kell Brook in a hell of a fight and wins his IBF championship of the world. You know, and then that's when Earl Spence Jr. really started putting the gauntlet on um, Keith Thurman and say, well, I got my belt now. I have my belt now. Why don't we fight? Why don't we fight now that I have my belt now? And this is May. In 2000, timeline, Keith Thurman for Danny Garcia in March 2017. And what happened after the Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia fight? Keith Thurman had wrist surgery. 
he had to put um, um, screws in his hand. So you guys telling me he's ducking. Earl saying he's ducking. Every time you see him, he gets hurt and stuff like that. And it wasn't what's true. It wasn't true. Keith Thurman got hurt after the Danny Coliseo fight, and he was out for a year and a half. You know, and when he came back, he fought Jose Zito Lopez to get a tune-up. He said he wanted a tune-up. And after the tune-up, Earl Spence Jr. posted got the Manny Pacquiao fight. But so happened, Keith Thur Earl was in a car crash or whatever happened to him or whatever was going on. But Keith Thurman got the Manny Pacquiao fight. That's no here or there. So I was just breaking down the timeline to let you guys know, stop faking a fraud. Stop perpetrating. These two guys are under the same guy, Al Heyman, PBC. Earl Spence Jr. never, ever went to Al Heyman and said, send Keith Thurman a contract to fight. Just like he showed the contract when he um, and paperwork uh, with uh, Terrence Crawford. These two was under the same umbrella. And he never, ever went to Al Heyman and said, Al, let's make that Keith Thurman fight. So you guys got to stop the perpetrating, stop the faking. Back then, Keith Thurman had bigger fish to fry than Earl Spence Jr. Facts over feelings. You guys cannot handle the truth, and that's it, and that is what it is. The rebuttal entertainment. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. If you're watching this video, tell a friend, tell a friend. And hopefully this time, Earl Spence Jr. and Keith Thurman will get it on and uh, you better not duck me, son Thurman, comes out. Peace and blessings. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me. It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry. It's time to break up so I can make a better me. Better believe in your mind, cause it's everything. You can mold, shape, find almost anything. All it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity, it's mine over everything.